Welcome back to This Week in Rideshare and Food Delivery News. My name is Cecily and here are this week's headlines. Some delivery drivers have been caught on camera for this. Now that Prop 22 passed, Uber, Lyft, DoorDash, and Instacart want to bring this type of legislation to other states. CEO Dara is also seeking a way to classify drivers on a federal level. Lawmakers who supported AB5 hope that it would make gig economy companies like Uber and Lyft classify drivers as employees, which would require them to pay for things like benefits and unemployment insurance. Prop 22 will need a 7 out of 8 majority to be amended. Senator Kamala Harris's name has come up in an awkward controversy regarding Prop 22. In August, Senator Harris expressed support for the measure and has vowed to address the decline of workers' economic security in the presidential race. Strangely enough, her brother-in-law, Tony West, became the public face of Uber's resistance to the bill. West, who is married to Maya Harris, the senator's sister and campaign chairwoman, is Uber's chief legal officer. Maya Harris's daughter, Mina Harris, also works at Uber on its diversity and inclusion team. Instacart is making a grocery delivery and pickup service more accessible to lower income customers by offering customers the ability to pay for the groceries with their SNAP, that is the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program benefit. Instacart users will be able to add EBT SNAP eligible items to their cart, then select how much of their benefits they want to use to allocate towards their order before checking out. DoorDash and Instacart face brighter IPO prospects after ballot victory in California. Both delivery companies are considered among the top IPO candidates for 2021. Instacart and DoorDash are in a better position financially because they exclusively deliver food and in Instacart's case, the demand for delivery services have skyrocketed during the pandemic. Will you be investing in either one? And now for what would you do? Here's the multi-million dollar question. Now that Prop 22 has passed, will you continue to drive or not and why? <sighs> That's a really hard question. That's a really hard question. I'm gonna have to come back to you on that one. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I'm wishing you all good health and I hope that you stay that way. Have a great weekend. Keep the faith.